you will look okay, so like you either got a really bad sunburn or that you put clown makeup on. I'm going to be doing a MAC blush collection video because I did a MAC lipstick collection video and I'll have that link down below whenever I put it up. It was the first brand I ever really like collected and I, when I posted a picture like a year ago of all like of like 90% of my MAC collection and it got like 30 or 40 likes on Instagram so ever since then I've been thinking about either doing a MAC collection video of all those things or doing like a MAC favorites video or something like that. If my hair looks like shit it's because I'm really lazy and my hair is wet a little bit and I don't like brushing my hair when I'm wet. So um, yeah, that's my excuse for not brushing my hair. So I'm going to get started again like I said and I'm going to start with the limited edition packaging blushes that I have because that's what I have the most of. The first one is the only one that's like in this big obnoxious packaging. I honestly think this packaging is ugly, like if you like this packaging, I'm sorry, but I just think it's ugly. That's what it looks like, I don't remember the name of this collection, I only got this blush from this collection. And when you open the blush, it's an ombre blush, it's pink at the top and purple at the bottom. And this is like a really cool blush to me because I don't have any ombre blushes and my favorite color is purple so that's the main reason why I got it. And because I like more of the pinky everyday blushes. The next one is from the Christmas collection. A lot of these I don't remember the names too because I've had them forever. But it has like the glitter embossed in the packaging. And it's called Sweet sentiment and it's a mineralized blush that's all it says this one just says ombre blush and it's like a purpley it's like a mauvey pink color I've honestly worn this like once because I forget about it but I really do like it the next one is from Rocky the Rocky Horror Picture Show collection and it has the lips on it and it's in crazed imagination and it's a frost and it's, this looks like a bronzer, like if you were just to look at it, it looks like a bronzer. It's a very deep color. And I personally love this. When I first got this blush, I used it like every day for like a month. The next one is from the Archie's Girl collection. And yeah, I've used this one a lot. It doesn't look like it because... Um, you only like legit just need to dip your brush in here and take it out because it's so pigmented if you like swirl your brush and try to apply it you will look like you either got a really bad sunburn or that you put clown makeup on it's really pigmented and it's a berry pink color and this is prom princess it's a satin the next two are from the Mar Marilyn Monroe collection I got both of the blushes. I believe there were only two in this collection. And the first one is the Perfect Cheek. And it's a matte. And this is more of a nudie blush. I don't really like these because I feel like nude blushes on me don't really show up. And I'm really pale so I like pink so I can, you know, pack that color on. But yeah, this is more of like a, I guess, more natural blush. Legendary. How many times can I say that? And it's a satin as well. And this is more of an orangey peach, like an orangey nude color. Which are not my thing. But I actually like this one better than the other one. And the next one is from the Hey Sailor collection. And it's Fleet Fast. And it's also a satin. That's what the packaging is. Just stripes. And this is more of like a darker everyday blush. I don't really know how to describe colors. Like that's like the color. And the last one I have is from the MAC Wash and Dry one. And it's similar to the one I just showed you but it's pinker. And this is Hipness and it's a frost. Okay. Follow my phone. In limited edition packaging but they are limited edition. So I'm going to show this first. These two are the cream blushes I have, and as you can see they're like complete opposites. And I think these are limited edition, I'm not sure, I don't ever buy cream blushes, but obviously except these. The first one's in Florida, and it just says cream blend blush. And again, this is 
one that you don't need a lot on your brush when you use it because it's pigmented like a mother. Uh, I used to wear this every day when I wore it. I thought I was the. And this one is more like a bronzer, like not a bronzer, but like a deeper color for like a deeper skin tone or someone who's tan. I don't really think it works well with my complexion, but apparently I liked it enough to wear it a million times and to leave this ugly like imprint on the blush. And this is Seize Your Taste. This one is my all-time favorite MAC blush and the current one I have on right now. It's in Dainty and it was a mineralized blush but you can't see the dome shape anymore because I've used it to hell and back. But yeah, like I said, everyday blushes are my thing. I like pinky blushes and dark pinky blushes, if that makes sense. And that one's dainty. I don't know if I said that. Probably did. The next one is Peachy Keen, and I've used this about two times because it was an impulse buy. These are the two kind of blushes I like. Like either a pink color or I'm just going to call it a darker pink color. And Peachy Keen is a sheer tone. And the last one I have is Pinch Me, which was the first blush I ever got from MAC. And when I got this blush, I was so pissed at myself because on the website, it looked like a hotter pink color. When I got it, it's like a deep, deep, kind of more plummy than I preferred. Like this could be like, if it wasn't so like purple, it could be like a bronzer. I think this is like... The powder version of, of Tease Your Taste. Like, they're so similar to me. Like, that's all my MAC blushes, and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Okay, so today I'm going. And then I have Legendary. Legendary. My voice just dropped. Unlimited, not limited, permanent blush. That is not cute. What the fuck? Whatever, it's not cute.